I'll do ladies and welcome back to Yorkshire Blazeman here and today I'm going to do another knife review this is of a guest knife review so this is not part of my private collection this is a knife that I am reviewing from someone else particularly my brother um, he went to Spain bought this and so I thought I'll do a review of it so this is a um, joker or hoka if you pronounce it in the Spanish way because J is pronounced a H so this is a hoka knife um, hoka do make some good quality knives but it mainly make budget friendly knives so basically like a CRKT in a way and this is one of her budget knives I don't know the model of it don't know any numbers it hasn't got anything on it all I know is this is a hoka knife it's similar style to a American knife this is not a traditional Spanish knife um, so let's just do a size comparison. Here we have its friendly neighbour border, a Portuguese knife. This is the Filman Duros, not the Filman Duros, I know it's the Filman Opario. It's of a nice friend. France, this is the opener number 8. And a Victorinox Climber. So this is a quite a small knife. It is a very small knife actually, because it's smaller than a Victorinox climber. Anyway, so let's just go over some features of this knife. The total length of this knife is 15 centimeters, 5.9 inches. The blade length is 6.5 centimeters and 2.6 inches, and the handle length, if you close the blade, is 8.9 centimeters to 3.3 inches. This knife will be look yeah will be UK legal. However, it has a lock to it, therefore it is not. Moving on to the lock, this is a back lock, which means that the lock is here. That is why it's called a back lock. You do also have a large finger nick here to pull out the blade. But you don't have to use that, you can also open it like this. So it's more. It, you, it's functional but it's also for decorative purposes as well it can be served as that it is quite a chunky knife to be honest with you I haven't written down the notes of this but if I write it down well measure it the top bit is 0.7 centimeters and the thickest bit here is 1.1 centim hang on no it's not 1.2 centimeters that is very thick compared well, actually, no, I haven't got anything that is small enough to compare it to. So, in relative thickness with a Victorinox climber and with the film Amduros, the film Opalio. So, for a small little backlock knife, it's quite chunky, but backlocks tend to be chunky. So, on the blade, you can see that it has if my camera will focus which I highly doubt it will come on well, well I need the camera to sort itself out it says JKR Joker Inox so this is an Inox stainless steel um, you might have heard it from other nice before it's on the MAM Inox so it's a, it's a stainless steel really um, other features of this knife. This is made, a Spanish made knife. It is not hand made, it is factory produced, unfortunately. The only Spanish knife that I've seen, well, actually held, had the chance of holding and using, that is not hand made. Shame that. Um, we also have brass bolsters holding it together, holding the, the red wood together. I don't know what wood this is. But this is a hardwood, and this is either stainless steel or nickel at the top here. The handle sort of reminds me of a Buck 110. It's got a similar pattern and look to it. Anyway, we do have a onion hole here. The pivot is also hidden inside of a knife, but I believe that it's just a pin in there with two washers and it's hidden it. That's what I believe is in that. If you compare it to 
if you look at my uh, Moala Navaha, not Moala Cafador or the other Moala knife, falling knife I've got on, you will see that they're both back locks but they do have a pivot circle there, but this is hidden. As I said, wood, nickel or stainless steel handle, a nice clip point blade and this is a sable ground knife. Unfortunately, the blade does not come all the way down to the bottom, such as a uh, open nail, but it sort of starts here. Now think about it, that's about a good one centimeter gap of just more metal than going into a blade. So you could have some more cutting room there. However, the blade is very pointy, nicely swept, and it is a very secure lock. This knife has no blade play whatsoever. It is a very small knife. As you can see, I cannot fully grip it like that. That is really uncomfortable, and I can't do anything with it. Now as my finger here will come across into the blade and might get cut. So the only way I can hold this knife is, it's like this. Three fingers on, and my thumb resting on the top bit here. So, for me, I would, would use this, wouldn't use this for EDC because it's too small. But if you like a small knife, then go ahead. I'm not saying this would be a bad EDC option, but it's just impractical for me. But if I was to use this knife, I would do it for light tasks, opening boxes, you know, parcels, letters, either sharpening a pencil, you know, just small little tasks that you can use for a little knife. Um, it's also polished, the blade. It's not a mirror polish. But it um, looks nice. So let's just do a cutting test. Now I shall find some paper. And I'll get some paper out of my little notebook. I haven't touched, I don't know if my uh, brother has sharpened this, but it's got a little bit of an edge. But anyway, we have the paper. No, not really sharp at all. So, I believe this is just tearing into the paper, it's not really giving a smooth cut, which is a shame. So, I have to give that a sharpen for him. Um, so, the overall. Oh, one more thing to add. With this back lock, it's very, very hard to actually disengage. You've got to apply a lot of pressure in that to push it, and because it's so thin. It cuts into your thumb, maybe you can see that, quite badly. But however, when the blade is closed, it slams down very securely. So, I'll just zoom in if, if my camera will allow me. Oh yeah, there we are. You can see you get a uh, finer detail of that handle there. And as you can see, JKR, which is uh, just been imprinted into it in the black color so where, where we have it guys this is the a hoka lock back and that's what i'm just going to call it the hoka lock back because i don't know what the hell mono wise or if it's got a name to it at all so there we are i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up give me more action than that subscribe to my channel because it really helped me grow i've changed the layout of my camera normally my camera is facing this way my window is there here and my camera is facing this way my tripod and the camera is facing down but it's on the side, so my wall is it's on the side here, my camera, and it's facing down. If you like this setup, just let me know. Um, or if you don't, I should go back to my old one again. Let me know down in the comments. I've been your one and only host, the Yorkshire Blazeman, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.